Jason LeDuc back with you here with more tips for effective meetings. It's been a while since we've talked about this topic and I've got even more advice for you on how to take your good meetings or even if you're having great meetings, how to make them even better. Let's get into it. First new tip, before you go into your meeting, before you even invite anyone to your meeting, make sure that you are telling everyone what decision you're trying to make out of this meeting and how you're going to make it. What criteria will you use to make this decision? That way, everyone who's coming to the meeting can come prepared with the homework they need, the data they need, the perspective they need to help you make that decision, whether they're making their case for what they think the best decision is, or as a group, you're gonna talk about it and come up with a consensus on what the best decision is. Make sure you're really clear about the decision and how you're gonna make it before everyone comes into the meeting. Also, don't ever expect to have perfect information in any meeting. As much as we try to have thorough information, detailed information, as much information as possible, it's just not possible to ever have perfect information. So have a minimum set of criteria, information you need, that people need to bring to that meeting that are gonna help you make that, that minimum criteria, that minimum set of information. That's gonna make it go really smoothly and that's gonna help you make your decision even if you don't have perfect information. On the flip side of that, if you do not have that minimum set of criteria you need to make that decision, don't be afraid to adjourn the meeting, even if it's just for a few minutes or a half an hour, so people can go look up and gather the information they need. It just, it's a recipe for disaster when people are in a meeting trying to look something up on their phone. They're often giving the first answer they find instead of taking a few minutes to research the best answer. And sometimes the world changes. Sometimes we really do need to go get additional information because something has changed. So don't be afraid to adjourn that meeting. Sometimes we're in a time critical situation. We can't do that. We've got to go with what we've got. But most of the time, we can take half an hour, an hour, an afternoon to go update ourselves on the latest information or the latest changes in the world and then come back and make our decision much better prepared. Finally, this is so important. I can't believe we forgot this in the last one. When you finish the meeting, when you've made your decision or the group has made their decision, make sure that not only do you clearly state and document what the decision is, but what that means for everyone going forward. I remember there was a meeting I went to in the Air Force that was a four-star general making a decision. And everyone left that meeting remembering his exact words, but we all came away with very different impressions of what he meant by those words. And that really caused a lot of problems among all these different organizations for months afterwards. So. It's not enough just to state what the decision is and document it. You've got to have conversations about what it means for everyone going forward. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, and share. If you have questions or comments, slide into my DMs. I don't mind. I love to hear from you. If there's someone who could use this, please forward it to them. I hope this was helpful developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.